So we, we talked about fonts. Um, you know, this one seems to be, uh, you know, people seem to, you know, like I said, trying to go to Inkscape or, or even try to go to Word. Uh, now, now, something to think about when you're trying to do this stuff in, in Microsoft Word or, or something, you are taking an, an image and you're trying to convert it to something that, it, that, that your cutter can cut. So some images are smooth, some of them are rough. I meant, um, you know, it just depends upon how your trace is. However, when you are typing with text inside your cut slot, we know that those lines are nice, perfect, and straight. There's no reason to uh, need to trace. So I'm going to show you real quick uh, the, the, the bulge effect in shortcuts a lot. Uh, you know, Paulette, this was another uh, one of the popular questions here. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to try to try to recreate uh, this anyway, or recreate the text anyway. So basically, with my text selected, um, I can go ahead and over here choose my choose my font that I'd want to use. Now, s something else that I didn't even mention before is that you have the ability to favorite your font. Uh, you know, this is a long this is a long drop down menu. Now, if you find yourself using the font more than once, man, you can click this little heart, and now you just made it a favorite. And when you made it your favorite, now you can just say, hey, I just want to view my favorites, and your favorites will only appear. Okay. That's so, so that's, that's, that's a quick little tip that I forgot to tell you. But anyways, um, you know, you, you want to type out your text first and go ahead and make this thing, make this thing big. Now th there's an effect on here called bulge. Uh, you know, this effect menu has a lot of cool things that they have added. This was not present in shortcuts a lot one, nor was it shortcuts a lot two. A little bit of it was in Shortcuts a lot three, but four totally blew people's minds with all the cool effects that have in it. So if there's any users out there still still rocking the Shortcuts a lot two or three, it's time to upgrade. All right. So anyways, uh, right here it's called Bulge, and we have a, a, a couple things available to us. Um, basically, I altered the bottom. So you can alter the bottom, put a little curve in it, and then change the offset. So you can either go positive or negative with it, and look at that. I mean, we're almost done, right? Now you can apply that same effect to the top if you want. You can go like this, uh, so it gives it that that kind of barrel effect. But anyways, once once you're done with this, I mean, you get a nice little preview. All you have to do is click OK. And then what I did with this is we, we call this a shadow, a shadow layer. We saw that with the Yoda. All I did is go to Effect. And then I went down here to shadow layer and just applied a, a thicker shadow, you know. And that's all I did. I mean, you can see what you can create with this, um, you know, with, with the, the effects that are built in. And then when you're ready to take this to Cricut Design Space, all you have to do is basically export your file and upload it to Design Space. And all your designing in here, it was done offline and all you needed to do is upload it uh, when your computer has internet or most computers nowadays have internet uh, already automatically live connected to it. So uh, that is the bulge effect.